the Nigerian party style still is a favorite for her. If you are living in the diaspora and you have been struggling with getting this authentic taste, struggle no more. Because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get that authentic party style still. So, to get that authentic party style still, you want to choose the right tomatoes. And this tomatoes right here is called the Campari um, tomatoes. And the reason why you want to choose this kind of tomato is because it is less acidic. It doesn't have that strong acidic taste. And then, of course, bell pepper. I always use this one compared to others, like the long one. I don't like to use that one. I feel like this works better for me. So this is why I always use this particular one. And when choosing your onions, you want to go for the purple onion. You, you do not want to choose the white onion because that white onion is sweet. But this purple onion has an authentic taste, is very rich in flavor, and this will give your stew a very traditional, authentic, party style stew taste. <laughs> so let's move on, guys. So guys, if um, you are the type that likes to use um, canned tomatoes, especially if you are living in the UK, these tomatoes right here, I sometimes use it and the taste is always good, but you can compare it to using fresh tomatoes. And of course, muti tomato, you can never go wrong with it. So... For the spices we're going to be using, I, I have my seasoning powder, bay leaf, thyme, rosemary, nutmeg. Nutmeg is one secret ingredient for Nigerian party style stew. God, it gives it a very authentic taste. So you don't want to skip this. If you have access to nutmeg, I would advise you use it. So, and I have my chopped garlic and ginger, and right there is my chopped onion, and of course, uh, oil. So, my choice of oil here is olive oil. You can decide to use whatever you want. So, today we are going to be making, the protein we are going to be making use of is um, chicken. So, right now, I've already washed my chicken. I added some chopped onion and seasoning powder in no particular order i added um rosemary thyme white pepper and um black pepper and of course some salt to taste yeah i was trying to like mix it together but <laughs> the quantity of the chicken was just too much so I couldn't I just had to cover it and allow it cook for some time before I went back to mix it together okay so now here's our tomatoes my paprika I've already cut and sliced and removed all the seeds inside so I'm just trying to wash them to get them prepared so now that I'm done washing them, I'll just um, get them set for blending. I'm just clean, trying to, to clean my sink. I like to clean as I go. So guys, to blend this, I'm going to like um, chop them so that um, it can be easy for my blender. So it doesn't spoil the blender. Okay. So... I added my paprika uh, and the scotch bonnet. So I added that in the blender, added a little bit of water, and then I blend. I'm not going to blend this to a very, very smooth taste. It will still have some, some particles of peppers inside. I don't like to blend it very smooth. So, yeah, it is after blending. I have that in one big pot and one small pot here. This process is really very important because it's, it is going to 
help with the cooking process because it's going to reduce the water in the pepper mix so guys to start with the stew i added some olive oil to the pot added my chopped garlic and ginger allow that to fry for like um, one minute and i added my chopped onion now i'm going in with all the spices that i showed you earlier which is the bay leaf rosemary thyme seasoning powder and the rest of them so guys i don't like to use um curry for my stew i don't know i just don't like it if you do you can go ahead and add that to it so guys now i'm grating my nutmeg to the to the oil i like to add it at this point because it's going to build flavor in the oil and this is going to give our stew a very authentic taste oh my god you don't want to skip adding nutmeg to your to your to your stew so guys remember the the pepper mix in that big pot and the small pot there it is after boiling that's the quantity i have so now the oil i've fried all of the spices and the onion so now it's ready so i'm just going to go ahead and add my pepper mix I'll mix that all together. So guys, um, after pouring the pepper mix, I mix it together. You can see when the, um, then I'm going to fry for like 30 to 35 minutes. And then you see the difference. Can you see guys? You can see the difference. When you want to know when your stew is ready, you see the oil on top of the pepper. So there you see it. So guys, at this point, I'll just um, continue. I'll give it like extra 10 minutes for it to fry very well. And then I'll proceed to add my broth. This is the chicken broth. So I'll just add that to it to loosen up the, the stew because obviously it's very, very thick. So I'll just add that to it. Then I'll mix it together. So guys, this is the chicken we boiled earlier. I just put it in the oven and, and grill it at least because I just didn't want to fry it to reduce oil because making stew already contains uh, takes a lot of oil so i decided to grill it in the oven so now I'll just had my chicken to to the stew and mix that together you want to mix very well so that um the chicken can go into the stew. Then after adding that, I tasted it and I felt like it needed a bit more seasoning powder. So I added extra seasoning powder. But if you are going to be using any kind of broth that you use in boiling your protein, you always want to hold on to add that before you add any extra season to avoid your stew from getting salty. So guys, at the end, I like to add um, eggs to my stew. I don't know if you like adding eggs to your stew. I enjoy it a lot. So I added egg and I just allowed that to boil. And guys, this is the end result of our stew. So guys, thank you, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you all for always coming back to watch my video. Uh, if, and if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So I enjoyed my stew with some rice and beans uh, with a side of um, cucumber. And that's it, guys. 
I hope to see you all in my next one. Until I see you again. So I'll be saying bye for now. And thank you very much for all.